Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we have the M9 Beretta, an American sidearm designed to replace the M1911 for military use. So after one long month, they'll complete out of LEGO bricks, here we have it, the LEGO M9 Beretta. Let's check out this awesome creation. Measuring 22 centimeters or 9 inches, this pistol is an experimental build using plates for the slide instead of the traditional method. On top of that, the handle connection takes advantage of that technique as well. Now this wasn't something I just came up with on the spot, it actually went through many iterations as I designed the gun, and it took a while to come up with a satisfying look that I was really happy with. Even now, I still feel like the slide is too tall, but there are many limitations with LEGO, especially with how the Beretta is designed with that exposed barrel look. And here are some closer looks at some of the general details on the gun. Working features include the standard ones like the slide lock, trigger, hammer, but also has my first pistol magazine release. It works really nicely and it's very loosely based on Nate's Glock 26s. So, credit to him for the help, I guess, in designing my own. Since we're on the handle, you can see that the handle is double-sided by the cheese slopes on both sides. Now, this is done by the bracket pieces where the handle meets the body of the pistol, and it's definitely a technique I'll be using in the future. Not only does it have a nearly seamless connection, it gives the magazine plenty of room, even though the magazine still has to be unfortunately two studs wide. The double-sided technique is really nice for honestly not just pistol handles, I'm sure it would look fantastic on a rifle as well, so look forward to seeing that in the future. Now of course, it field strips. Due to the instability of the gun, it still uses a rubber band for the slide instead of a spring, and honestly all that does is add an extra step to the field strip process. Unfortunately though, because of, again, the Beretta's design, the slide coming off of the gun, even after taking out the pin for the barrel, is just a pretty clunky process, and I would have liked to improve it, but there's just really no way of doing it like I said earlier. Other than that, it goes pretty smoothly and was a relatively easy field strip to design as opposed to the MP7 or some of the earlier guns I've done in this past year or two. But that's basically it. This was an extremely fun and challenging build to design and make, but in the end it was very satisfying to see the finished product. The working features plus the overall aesthetic of the gun really pulls it together into a creation that I'm no doubt proud of. And well... Yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, supporting me, even though my upload frequency has been obviously decreasing. I've been trying to step up the quality for all these videos now, so hopefully, you know, it's a worthy trade. And I'll see you guys next time.